hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we're going to be looking at the best attachments for all the operators now if you just want to skip your favorite operator i will put all the attachments in the description down below if you do not want to watch this video in its entirety so you can go down there and check that for yourself okay so first of all let's look at the descriptions of each of the attachments so as of for the barrels so the muzzle brake will reduce the vertical recoil so the bullets will be closer together and it will bring it down the compensator will reduce the horizontal recoil so any bullets that go towards like the left or the right they will now become more in the center and it will be more of a just straight line going upwards however with the muzzle brake the straight line upwards will be shorter however the bullets may go up to the left and the right and the flash hider pretty much does the compensator and muzzle brakes job so it does vertical and horizontal recoil but it doesn't do it as well as the compensator and muzzle brake and the flash hider also gets rid of the muzzle flash so if you're shooting at your enemies and there's too much flash on your screen and you find it hard to see your enemies then i'd recommend the flash hider if that is uh, an issue for you but let's just go through some of the operators so let's start off with ash so and also as of for the site you know it all comes down to personal preference when it comes to the holographic or reflex i do not recommend red dot whatsoever i'm pretty sure we all know this by now but i'm going to have some images up on screen now of the holographic and reflex so you can decide which you like more the holographic covers more of your screen however you can see more within the actual site itself However, the reflex, you can see more of your screen, more than you can with the holographic, but you can see less within inside the actual site. However, I pretty much just run holographics on most of my weapons because I like being able to see what's going on within my site however if you want to know more about your surroundings and then i'd say reflex but i like just focusing on what's inside my site and for ash specifically i run the flash hider just because when you're rushing shooting enemies you're gonna want to be able to see what's on your screen so getting rid of that flash getting rid of that muzzle on your screen will get it will get rid of that so you will be able to see your enemies more so I'd recommend flash hider, just a vertical grip, holographic or reflex. The sight usually comes down to you, but I'd recommend the barrels that I mention. Also when running Ash, I'd recommend to use the M1911. And also another thing, quick tip, I would buy skins like this because it's uh, paid to win and enemies find it hard to see you because you kind of blend in with the background so if you have enough renown I'd recommend buy outfits like this just because you know you want to be try hard enemies can't really see you but you know it doesn't matter for me because I solo queue and I'm just hard stuck on plat the highest I've been is like plat 2 on the edge of plat 1 but god damn my teammates so oh, I'm not even going to say anything Okay, as a for Thermite, I know people like to run the holographic, but I've been enjoying the ACOG just because I like to hold those line of sights. But if you are aggressive, you know, you just open up the wall Russian, I'd recommend the holographic. Certainly the flash hider, like I said, if you're aggressive, get rid of that flash. But just overall recommend the flash hider, it gets rid of vertical and horizontal both at the same time and angled grip for thermite i'd recommend you know just get that ads time quicker which i also forgot to mention so as of for the angled grip you get to zoom in faster vertical grip you don't zoom in as much but it gets rid of that recoil so i will have a video on screen at the moment of the specific times it takes to zoom in with each of them But just generally speaking, the angled grip is better off if you are more of an aggressive player and vertical grip if you like to hold those uh, line of sights. But I'd recommend try the holographic on firma if you haven't. I have, but it hasn't gone too well for me, but I'd say do it anyway. 
let's see what we have for Twitch. Okay, so with Twitch, you want to run the muzzle break. The reason for this is so because her weapon goes so high up, you want to be able to bring that down. So the bullets are closer together. So it's just a short little line of the recoil. And you don't have to drag your mouse down as much when using the muzzle break. So I'd recommend you do that. And you know, just ACOG vertical grip. Who else is mainly played like Buck? With Buck, I run the holographic and the flash hider. Now, the reason for the flash hider on Buck is because when you're playing that vertical play and you're shooting down through the beams, you want to be able to see what it's shooting at. So you get rid of the muzzle flash and then holographic because if you're using ACOG on Buck, you're going to be too zoomed in. You're not aware of your surroundings, whereas with the holographic, you're not too zoomed in and you can kind of flick the enemies because you can see what's going in, going on in your surroundings. So I'd recommend you use that. Habana. I'd recommend Compensator. Make sure Compensator on the Type 89. Now, I've been switching between vertical and angled. I like to do angled sometimes when I'm aggressive. But for the most part, I prefer vertical just because you can open up the wall and then hold that angle of where you've just opened up. Now for Jackal, this is going to be a surprise to some of you, but I actually use the angled grip on Jackal and the compensator. Now the reason I use angled grip is because, you know, when you're scanning and you notice where the enemies are, you can just not aim in it and then... Because you then might not always be in the same spot, so it's good to be able to like quickly aim and inflict to them if that makes any f sense. And you're not just like tunneled vision on this one spot. So I think that's enough. Let's just cover Zofia on attack. Zofia just compensate a vertical grip. Like I said, these all will be in the description and down below. Also, as of for the SMGs 11. Make sure you have the flash hider on and the holographic. Rook and Duck, you're going to want to put flash hider on. Jaeger is played a lot. Jaeger, you're going to want flash hider. I know lots of people like to put laser, but I don't personally. But flash hider anyway, because you're going to be like aggressive roaming and you're going to want to be able to see what's on your screen. So just being able to get rid of that flash is a big yes, yes. Uh, Bandit, you can't really, there's not really that much attachment to a Bandit, but you know, Compensator. Make sure you put that Compensator on for Bandit. Who else is there? Legion, Legion has played a lot, right? Flash Hider, you can't put any grips on Legion. But Flash Hider, to get rid of that horizontal and vertical recoil, and obviously the main reason is being able to see what's in front of you as you shoot at your enemies. Ella, I know Ella's a big played operator. Laser sight, I use laser sight just because the recoil on her is like mental, so laser sight, you know, just really does help. And then as a for the barrel on Ella's scorpion, make sure to use the compensator and obviously the vertical grip. Just everything you can to just reduce that recoil one bit. And then a deployable shield. Uh, I think I've pretty much covered enough so far. But like I said, all the operators will be in the description below. So if I haven't covered your favorite operator, and then yes, that will be in the description down below. And I think that is pretty much everything. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And goodbye.